Monica here. Happy 2014. So I know I've not made a cooking video for you guys in quite some time, so I decided that I'd go ahead and kick off the new year with making a new cooking video for you guys. I was taking a little bit um, of a break, not taking a break from cooking. Uh, that would just drive me bonkers. But uh, taking a break from just making some cooking videos, just taking some time to gather my thoughts, um, and prepare some things that I really wanted to do um, in this new year. So, um, tonight I'm going to show you guys how I make my lasagna soup. If you want to know how to do it, then keep watching. Okay, for the recipe, you are going to need, of course, hamburger meat. You are going to need dumpling ribbon noodles. You are going to need mozzarella cheese, a can of Rotel, a spaghetti sauce. I'm using the Bertoli Italian sausage, garlic, and romaine. You are going to need cottage cheese, which this is just 24 ounces of cottage cheese, bell pepper, a red or yellow onion, and that is it. Okay, first things first, you're going to take your cottage cheese and you're going to put it in some type of a strainer. This is a metal one that I usually do my noodles in. And you're going to take a little uh, flat little spatula or spoon or something like that. And make sure you put a bowl underneath and then you're going to just kind of poke around to get any of the excess juice out. You don't want that nasty um, juice in your soup. So you're just going to kind of just poke around like so and mash any of the excess juice out. And then once you've done that about as good as it's going to get, then you can start preparing your hamburger meat. Okay, so I went ahead and filled up our water pot for our noodles uh, with the proper amount of water and a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder, and a little bit of olive oil to help keep the noodles from sticking together. So I went ahead and got the water uh, started. You can put a lid on it to make it boil a little bit faster. So I've already turned my pan on for my hamburger heat, for my hamburger meat, <laughs> hamburger heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there and then go ahead and start breaking it up. And I have it on just medium heat right now because while this is heating to temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up my onion. My bell pepper is already cut up. I like to buy them uh, fresh at the grocery store and then just cut them up and bag them and put them in the freezer so I have them whenever um, I need them and I don't have to worry about them going bad. So I'm going to go ahead and finish breaking this up and then I'm going to go, go ahead and start, and start cutting up the onion. So I've showed this in plenty of my other videos how to cut an onion. Just doing it the same way. Just peeling off the outer layer. If you hear some little noises or if you happen to see a little one walk by, we have one that's walking and well he's been walking but since I last recorded a video he wasn't like all over now. He's He's comfortable to go wherever. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this in the middle. I'm probably only going to use about half of this. And if you are a loyal or frequent uh, cooking video watcher, then you may notice that I've got some new knives. For Christmas, I got the Paula Deen knife set that my husband got me. I love these things. I swear they cut through anything. It's like cutting through butter. It doesn't matter if it's meat potatoes, onions, vegetables, whatever. They are great. I love them. And they even match my pots. So I'm just going to kind of chop those up. Like I said before, the bell peppers are already uh, cut up, so I don't have to fool with those. I'm going to go ahead and throw the peppers and the onions in with the meat to uh, kind of take a little bit of the raw flavor out and to soften them up a little bit for the kids. So I'm going to go ahead and get out some bell pepper. And it's really to your liking. If you like bell pepper, add as much as you want. I'm probably going to add about a whole uh, bell pepper. So half an onion and a whole bell pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to our meat. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and throw this in, just like so. Go ahead and kind of stir this around. I have not seasoned the meat at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some seasoning in there. So I'm just going to start out with some salt. As I say in every video, the season, the seasonings, not talk, are really to your liking. You know, if you like salt, add salt. If you don't, you're, or you're not allowed to eat it, you know, something like that. Salt, pepper, and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, garlic powder. And I see a little visitor. 
<laughs> and then um, I'm going to take a little bit of Italian seasoning. And then that's it for the uh, seasoning. So I'm going to keep breaking up the hamburger meat. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. Go I'm going to keep breaking up the hamburger meat and uh, brown it. And then I'll be back to show you what to do next. Okay, so our water is boiling, as you can tell. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in our pasta. Go ahead and dump it in. Grab a spoon. Go ahead and give that a little stir. Our hamburger meat is almost done, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start opening, uh, well, there's only one can this time. Go ahead and open our can of uh, Rotel and get our uh, spaghetti sauce. Okay, so the hamburger meat is done, so we're going to go ahead and turn that off. We're going to go ahead and strain the excess grease off of it. And then once we do that, we're going to kind of let it just hang out in the uh, strainer until the noodles are done, because we're going to turn all of this into this pot. So... We'll get to that step in just a minute. Our noodles look like they are almost done as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, strain the hamburger meat and then check the noodles. And if they are done, go ahead and strain those as well. So I'll be back to show you what to okay, do next. So I went ahead and strained the hamburger meat and the noodles. They were done. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the uh, spaghetti sauce. So the meat and the noodles are just here in this pot. So I'm going to dump the spaghetti sauce out just like that, and then I'm going to put a little bit of water in uh, the jar. Just a little bit, pop the lid back on, give it a shake to get all that excess out. And then plus we're going to need a little bit of liquid to make it soupy. Just a little bit more. That's why it's called lasagna soup. A little bit more soupier than spaghetti and lasagna. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our rotel. I did not strain the juice off of the rotel, so kept all of that. Give us a little bit of a stir, and then we're going to go ahead and add in our uh, cottage cheese. We're just going to scoop that right in there. You can also use uh, ricotta if you want to go for more of an actual uh, lasagna texture taste. But I really like cottage cheese. I do use cottage cheese when I make uh, lasagna. I use either one. My mother used to use cottage cheese. And I really like to use cottage cheese. I find that ricotta just... Kind of makes my stomach hurt a little bit, so I just prefer to use cottage cheese. So I'm going to stir all of this lovely mixture around, just like so. You may need to add a little bit more liquid, and if you don't think it is tomato enough for you, you can add um, another jar of tomato sauce or a little can of tomato sauce. So I'm going to stir this around and see what I'm looking at, and I might just do that. So sure. I did go ahead and put another uh, can, a small can of tomato sauce in here. Um, I think this is probably about as soupy as we're going to get it. Um, you can, like I said before, you can add another uh, whole can of tomato sauce, um, spaghetti sauce, uh, if you'd like. But I like it at this consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, um, so I'm going to keep it at this. So I went ahead and put it back on the stove and I turned uh, the heat up to a medium low just to uh, get the sauces uh, heated up and everything else. So I'm going to let this um, kind of simmer and heat up for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bread and pop that in the oven and then I'll be back to show you guys uh, the end. I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like at the end. All right, and this is the finished product. Like I said, if you want it more soupier, you can add another jar of spaghetti sauce. Uh, but I kind of like it at this consistency. I guess it would be kind of like a lasagna stew. So, but yeah, this is what it looks like. 
Okay, so that is it. Real simple, as all my recipes are. So I hope you guys enjoyed cooking with me in this new year. And if you have not subscribed, please do. I'm trying to get to 500 by May 19th, which is my birthday. So kind of, I'm turning 25, so it kind of fit in there somehow. Um, so yeah, if you haven't subscribed, then uh, please do. Don't forget to thumbs up and like the video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.